Hey guys, Tinker Taylor here and welcome to my first ever video. Now, this has taken me forever to actually make. You know, I actually recorded this video on the 13th of November last year. Like, th <laughs> that was so many months ago and I'm finally, finally getting it out now. You would not believe how much I had to deal with to finally get this out. Like... I've moved houses in between that time and I actually lost the footage. I couldn't find it anywhere, but I knew I hadn't deleted it. So I just spent a good, I don't know, solid month just continuously looking to try and find where the heck I'd put this footage because I knew I had saved it to a certain spot. Just completely forgot where that spot was. Um... And then I've edited it quite a number of times and, you know, gone to sleep to let it do its thing overnight because I'm not going to wait for it. I'm going to sit there staring at it. And my computer crashed. And that happened multiple times. And because of that, for some reason, my video, you know, not sped up. It was originally supposed to be about six hours and ten minutes and it ended up being 11 hours. I I don't know what happened. The footage going from my hard drive to the editing software changed it and made it more than twice in length. Oh, no, less than twice in length. Um, anyway, then today decided, you know what? You've been editing it all day yesterday. You got it up. You saved it. You know where it is. You can just record the voiceover today. And I did a little, a few test runs to make sure my settings on my mic were right because this is my first ever video. Obviously, as I said before, I've never, never, yeah, never published anything. I've never done this voiceover. I just wanted to make sure my audio was good. And yep, it was all fine, all good. Just doing the last few things before I started recording. As I went to start recording, the moment I went to click, the fire alarm went off where I live, and. I was so mad because we had to wait for the firefighters to come and I, I, I don't even know why the fire alarm went off. There was no fire. There was no smoke. There was nothing. They were, uh, from the looks of it, it just looked like a, a malfunctioning fire alarm, to be honest. And they wandered around for a bit and then went, all right, we'll see you later. And then just left. Um... So that took forever and a half, and when I came back inside, I was, went to the kitchen to make myself some food. Now, I live in, a, I guess you'd call it a student accommodation, with a whole bunch of other people. So we have our own little rooms, and not everyone's here because it's currently holidays at uni, and uh, yeah, so I, I went to the kitchen to make some food, and the residential advisors had come and locked all the doors of everyone who they thought wasn't there and the residential advisor who did my room she saw me but she was just on a roll with locking all the doors and just locked me out so i had a great fun being locked out of my room for a little bit trying to eat my food in the hallway and eventually got let in and by the time i got back in it was pretty much time that I wanted to upload it. I wanted to have it uploaded by 3 p.m. today and well it is currently 3 30 3 37 to be exact. So today's really not gone well neither has trying to make this video but you know we're here uh I've made a few mistakes here and there throughout the video throughout the recording but you know what I'm just I'm just gonna roll with it I'm not gonna stop and start if I make a mistake, I make a mistake, and, and that's that's that. Um, yeah, so that's been the fun fun time of trying to actually get this video made, put together, edited, all that sort of stuff. And you know, hopefully, I can actually upload it because earlier today we had some what do you call it, electricians come in and. I, they just 
were messing around with the electricity, turning it on and off, and it's quite frustrating when you're trying to, you want to work on something, but you know if you open it and they turn the power off, it's going to crash again, and, you know, I've I've had enough of it crashing, so I thought I'd just try and squeeze it in the last minute, but as I said before, the fire alarm totally screwed me over. Um, but yeah, that's that's just <laughs> trying to make this video. But uh, as you can see, um, this build's quite, oh, I'd say it's fairly decently big. Um, I got inspiration from a photo, which is extremely blurry, and uh, it's it's the perspective of the backyard. So if you're looking from the backyard towards the back of the house, um, what on earth am I doing? Oh, okay, yeah, trying to build a cool staircase thing where you can look down, but I don't remember if I actually end up doing that. Um, but yeah, the, 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 yeah, the front here, that's totally on me. Um, this, this section here isn't, that's the, yeah, this back section, that's what you can see from in the photo. So, uh, and you can only see really the, the section that is, the top part is the house, but the bottom part is outside. So this part that I'm working on now to the right here, that is kind of, uh, me messing around I guess um adding what I think the rest of this house would look like and I'm so glad that they finally added platforms to this game because I would have lost my mind if I couldn't have had platforms I wouldn't have been able to make the um I, I don't know what it's called but when you look from the back the balcony bit has a really thick base because obviously I've used the platforms to make it stand up taller and because it's done that because it's standing up taller it has that thick bottom but also that thick roof bit which that's what it's in the picture and I've always wanted to make something like that but I've never been able to do it because we haven't had platforms until three days before I made this build um, and it, it, yeah, it took me forever, like I said, um, I think the shell took me about an hour and 20 minutes, and the furnishing took me about four, four hours and 50 minutes, so nearly six, five hours, six hours for the whole build, um, and I'm super impressed with it, uh, the, <laughs> one of the bedrooms, the master bedroom, is the ugliest thing you'll ever ever see but I absolutely love it like I have never seen something look so disgusting but so awesome um you, you guys will get what I mean when I finally finish it you might not see it in this video you might see it in part two because like I said somehow the footage got went from six hours and ten minutes to nearly 12 hours I think it was 11 and a half um Yeah, so I'd, uh, I've i decided to turn it into two videos. So this is just part one. It'll randomly stop somewhere in the middle of furnishing uh, because otherwise the shell would be 15 minutes and the furnishing would be an hour. And uh, I don't know about you, but I would not want to watch an hour of furnishing. Just not something that I'm personally interested in. Um but, yeah, this, I'm so proud of this build. I've never been so proud of my entire life. Uh, upstairs, there's uh, the master bedroom, the kitchen, dining, living area, a bathroom off to the side, and downstairs is two bedrooms, another bathroom, a gym and a sauna, and then obviously the outside bit, and there I add a pool um, at one point I had a whale sculpture in the back. I don't know what I was thinking, but it kind of blocked the view. So it was like, you wouldn't really build a house and block the view of it. It just, you just wouldn't like it. If you're going to have a house with a view. You're going to want to see that view. Um, and each 
room, I guess, is very inspired by who I imagined living in there. So I think that's how I see most of my builds, though. Like, everyone who lives there, in my mind, are a certain type of people. You know, this is a, um, a four-person family, and they have a very artsy kid whose room's super cluttered, and it's... Yeah, it's not exactly that nice. Well, I mean, it's, it's absolutely wonderful, but it, it, being cluttered and crowded, I just, personally, I'd hate that. Um, and then you have maybe a kid who's like a YouTuber or a streamer or something like that, and they've got like the immaculate room with the clean shelves and, you know, very nice and soft color palette. Uh, and then, yeah, the parents, <laughs> the parents' bedroom, master bedroom and all that, it's... I don't know I don't know where I got the inspiration from it for it but it's well you'll see when when you see it um but I I really what I, one thing I loved doing here was the um the grass roof and some parts I just think I think that would be so good for the environment you could have like a little bee farm up there or something or put flowers up there so the bees can use them and, and pollinate them and then you can have I guess yeah I guess like a little bee farm so this is gonna be oh okay that was the master bedroom and bathroom I was doing but I've moved ah moving around so fast so yeah that's the master bathroom that's the master bedroom that's the oh, I'm going too fast here you'll you'll see in a moment what everything is uh I really wanted to put like a big massive door across here and have it like a giant sliding door because that's just what I imagined would go there perfectly but there's nothing that would fit there that looks good so I just left it open and that's the same with upstairs I'm imagining massive sliding doors so that those windows are actually sliding sliding doors um and I think yeah it just Oh, being able to slide them open and have the breeze come in on a hot summer's day or, you know, if it's a cold day, you can close them up but still have that gorgeous view. Um, yeah, I just, oh, I think that would be absolutely fantastic. But obviously we don't have that, so I just had to leave it open. Um, and I do like the, when you come upstairs, there's that, lower section and then you can go up into the living dining room or you can go up uh, into the bedroom but then the bedroom's down a step so it's it's all these different levels on top of each other it's not very accessible for someone who's in a wheelchair or something like that um and you know maybe in future i could use uh an elevator or something like that but yeah this house obviously doesn't have any people in wheelchairs or anything like that um of course you got the solar panels on the roof keep costs low use energy from the sun and all that um i'm just so excited to see like have you guys see the final product because it's it's awesome um so this here is a little outdoor entertainment area i guess it's under cover so i guess it's a little protected from the elements but you can always get like in real life people have the covers that go over their chairs and and stuff like that so they can keep it safe um uh, obviously we don't have that in this game either but they're also under cover so in game everything should be fine like i don't think anything out there there might be a tv or something out there but it's it would be protected by the the cover, by the, the, the floor above it. Um, yeah, so I, I do quite like that outside area. I'm all over the place, though. Uh, <laughs> obviously, I'm picking every room to be fairly similar with flooring and wall color, wallpaper color and things like that which 
I personally, I would imagine that people who have these big gorgeous houses would try and be as fairly similar in every aspect you know having all the walls the same color or whatever um the flooring same throughout you don't want to have mismatched flooring or like carpet here and floorboards there and tiles here like you you obviously i've got floorboards and i've got tiles here but they're in a way that makes sense or at least makes sense to me like the tiles around the pool but the wooden bit down in that entertainment space and then the floorboards inside except for the bathrooms which for some reason at the end of this video when the screen fades out it randomly jumps back to I think it's this bathroom build um uh, this is the downstairs one for the kids so I wanted to put a bathtub in there just maybe they have a dog and that's where they clean the dog or maybe that's where you know when the kids were younger they they use the bath maybe they just like having a bath now at this age I have no idea like it is having a bath is always good um not a massive fan of baths personally but I also think it's kind of important to have one just because you never know what you need it for um like a lot of people wash their blankets and stuff or a hat or whatever in the bath because it's so big and you can put as many as you want in there and man does that water get gross but uh I think I flipped the toilet and the sink I didn't like I didn't like where they were so but I do like the little um the wall next to the toilet just kind of kind of separates it a little bit so yeah, I, I don't know, just, I thought that was really nice, having that separation bit with the, and the plant on top, although that plant would probably have to be a fake plant, couldn't really imagine a real plant surviving in that sort of environment, um, yeah, I think I changed the tiling on the floor as well, because it didn't match the tiles, well, maybe I didn't. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really did enjoy this build so very much, even though it took me so long. I had to do it in two sittings. Um, yeah. I did it on the same day, but I, I definitely I took a break because there's two recordings. Um, or maybe I don't turn the sink around and swap it. This trying to place that was the worst and then I realized that yeah the soap I gotta chuck there on as well and I just I was like that's good enough I don't care if that's not where I want it and I think I do flip I really do think I flip it and I get frustrated at the fact that I flip it um because then I have to move all the stuff again uh, I do like that the toilet floats I think having all the plumbing and that be behind and away from what you can see I just think it looks so much nicer than having it underneath and and I don't know a floating toilet just seems cool to me it might just be me um I spent so long on this. <laughs> I really didn't need to spend so long on this toilet I could have sped this up by like six times um yeah I I think I ended up picking the green one and yeah. Then I oh no, I did swap it around because I wanted to keep that painting, but because the space between the shower and like if you open the door in the shower, would it hit? Even though this is Sims and it really doesn't matter. And I wanted to put it, I think, above the bath on the other wall. Look, who knows what I'm doing at this point? I'm just messing around. Um. Oh, seriously, what am I doing? There's so much going on in here. This is too much. This is why it takes me so long, because I just lose focus of, like, what I'm doing, and I go over the top, and then I hate it. But I think with this one, I kind of rein myself back in and realize, okay, you're doing way too much. Why do you need that little light box? You don't need a light box. And a hose, apparently, okay. <laughs> um... 
I don't know why I'm trying to shuffle it there. That's like the tightest. Oh, okay. Apparently I'll come back to it. So this is the artist's room, I think. Yeah, this is the artist's room. Originally I was going to have the bedrooms very similar and, you know, the same bed but different swatches and I think, you know, like a kid's bed. But I decided, you know what, let's just do two different rooms with different personalities because obviously you're not going to make your kids have identical rooms. Well, not many people will make their kids have identical rooms. Uh, yeah, I was going to put two cupboards in, but then I realized that's that's just way too much. And there's that one awkward space that's just empty, and I absolutely hated it. So I do get, end up getting rid of that cupboard furthest from the bed, and the one closest to it, I move it back into the corner. Um... Yeah, apparently I just wanted to go with a black colour scheme in this room, which I don't stay with. I think I think I end up being blue. I think both rooms end up being like a bluey sort of colour, but differing differing in, in like the style, of course. Um But Yeah, it's just I don't know, maybe that's my thing is is blue. I tend to stick to very neutral colour schemes, but I'm kinda glad that I picked alternative colours rather than just like neutral or black and white and things like that. So um oh, I love these these um bedside tables. Like they're so colourful and nice. And I can imagine like if the artist does live in this room, they've probably done it themselves. But apparently I didn't pick it. Um, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, just imagine that artist has maybe bought it or built it themselves and they've painted the top of it and maybe in the drawers there's like all this cool stickers and stuff like that. I, I don't know. Uh, but I don't end up choosing them. I'm imagining probably like the parents are like, no, you can only have your art stuff but don't paint our furniture like it's our house you live in our house which i mean that's fair enough it's not your furniture you shouldn't be able to paint it but i could imagine an artist's temptation to want to paint it um oh, i cannot wait till i pull out all the canvases and stuff like that and paintings all over the wall and all that but apparently my first issue is not being able to pick colours for the wallpaper. Again, I'm I'm just all over the place and not being able to pick one solid thing. I think yeah, I think what I ended up doing is is the colour on the wall. I don't think I left it stripey because that looks so bad. I think I just do the three three of them, one light blue and one dark blue. Or like a purple or something like that. I don't know. I keep changing it. I can never remember what I do because I keep changing it. Um, I'm imagining that some of their first sketches or something like that that they've done. And again, I, I, it's, <laughs> like I said, I did this build in November last year. And it's currently June. So that was, what, seven months ago? <laughs> I don't really remember what I've done and what I haven't done. So it's kind of a guess for both you and me. Um, I really like those swatches on those paintings. They look so cute. Um, I don't think I end up using them in this room. I think I end up using them in the other bedroom. I've used them in so many other builds that I've done and recorded, but I haven't edited them. So... You might see them in future builds. Oh yeah, here's the canvases. I just had some, yeah. Or maybe I do use them there. I don't know. I pull a whole bunch of canvases out and put them in the corner, so I'm imagining they have quite a number of canvases just loitering around the room because, you know, that's the art that they haven't hung up yet and that's all the paintings and stuff they've done and... Oh, 
just just imagine being the parent of that child and walking in there and just seeing paint everywhere and being so terrified that they're going to get paint all over the walls and floor and all that but this is, this is the kid who lives here is a good kid doesn't get paint everywhere um the tissues to clean up all the paint although they probably have some better things than <laughs> tissues to clean up the paint um Oh yeah, I pulled this one out as well, I think. Hopefully I don't. Again, I don't know if I keep it. Ah, <sighs> But I know I do get rid of one of those cupboards because it's just so cramped in there without it. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, I end up moving it to the desk because it just wouldn't sit on that thing nicely. Um. Those stacks of paper that you keep seeing me pull out, I keep imagining they're like stencils or like just draft drawings and things like that. Um, this is the, oh no, okay, we're moving to the master bedroom and as you can see already, it's disgusting. Oh, I love it. It's so gross. Um, I cannot decide which theme or vibe to go with. Like, do I want to go with the pink and have it like a very female oriented sort of room or do I want to go with the gold? I think I end up going with the black and gold. Um, and it goes into their walk-in wardrobe as well. It looks not as gross, but the same sort of styling, garish styling kind of goes into there as well. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Apparently I'm not doing anything um yeah I end up picking a very I think it's a very similar wallpaper I think it's a no I don't think it's that one that I end up with I think it was the yeah the get famous is that get famous yeah, that, that that wallpaper basically um, in the bathrooms and in the bedroom and in the walk-in closet as well. And it, it's just, it, it's not even a master suite. It's a master, that that, that little pre-built room, that's kind of the inspiration for it. Um, but um, yeah, that it's... <laughs> It's a lot, and I would never live in a room like this. I'd never even want to be in a room like this. It's so, just so gross. Um, but I think that ends up being a little bar, a little, well, I wouldn't say little, the two big couches and a massive TV and a desk with a big expensive computer on it. So it's more like a master retreat than a master suite. Um... You know, they've got their his and her bathrooms, the big ensuite, uh, big um, walk-in robe, which is just there that you saw. Uh, and, yeah, that that's, I think I had, like, a window or a mirror or something in here. I, I do tone it down a little bit in this room. I don't want it to be too much because otherwise it just, it's way too over the top and it's gross. But, like I said before, it's disgusting and I love it. Um, yeah, I couldn't figure out what to do with this corner. I was like, I can't really line it up and be in that corner without it being super gross and super cramped. And you can't access half the shelves and things like that. So I think that's why I chucked the mirror into it. Um... I do love adding those three single mirrors on a two space so it looks like one massive mirror rather than the mirrors with the spaces between them. I, I must do that every build. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, so I end up turning, t toning it down in here with the... Apparently not. Oh, yeah, with, with the lighter colours rather than having it the really dark weird colours and I think I extend that yeah that same 
pattern into the bathroom. Which, oh my goodness, to have these walk-in showers would be absolutely amazing. I'm imagining like huge, um, huge shower heads. That bath does not stay there, by the way. It, it moves back into the shower. So this is the her side and that's the his side. And originally I was going to put the sinks there, but I don't know, just, I thought I'd make them more of like a prep area. So if you're getting yourself ready in the morning, if, you know, I'm imagining extremely rich people who live here, um, you know, they've got to look their best or they've got to get ready. And I just thought instead of, oh, instead of putting it off to that side, I would put them in here. Oh, like over where the bath is, sorry. Um, and yeah, put the toilets in there. One thing that I realized that I did wrong and hadn't fixed and just quite frankly can't be bothered to fix is um, the... I put some hedges next to the bath and they kind of go into the room with the toilet. And I just... I thought I fixed that up, but apparently when I went back to take screenshots you can see it and it's I could have fixed it I really could have but I didn't um yeah now I'm back in this room trying to put what are they called windows in but I just I don't know oh the windowing like I'm so glad I didn't have to do roofing roofing yeah, it was so easy when you have a flat roof. But when you're trying to do actual proper roofing, it's the worst. So I just decided not to do it. Um, but the doing all the windows and making it make sense on the inside and outside, it just... Uh, well, that's why... Oh, that's why I've moved the... um. Yeah, they moved everything over here. Moved the desk over there so I can actually put a window in. Um, because obviously you need windows in a room to make it an actual room. I don't know if that's the law in every country, but in... I think in Australia it is. You have to have windows to make it an official bedroom. Oh yeah, this is where I moved the... Maybe it's not. Um... I didn't like having the toilet under the window. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, so you have to, you have to have a, a window to make it legally a bedroom. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Um, I don't like that wall being straight where the door is, but I can't really move it. So, you know, I guess it is what it is and I just have to deal with that. Um, same with that, where I just put that tooth, all those toothbrushes I just gave up, that was good enough. Uh, but yeah, I'm absolutely in love with how disgusting this setup is. Um, I think it's, oh, it's so good that it's so bad. Um, yeah, this is where I've eventually moved the... move everything and the this is the lady side that's the man's side on the lady's side she has like a um a stylist chair so if someone wants to come over and style her they can and if uh she's got like all of her uh what do you what do you call that um like makeup and nail polish and anything else that I could find that goes in a bathroom all on her side and I think on his side has like nothing really um like if I could put a shaver down I would have like a shaving razor set thing put out there um I'm imagining this is a picture of like the picture I end up putting up here is like 
the family where they originated from so like the great 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 grandparents or something silly like that um in the bathroom watching them shower which is so creepy and weird yeah that one <laughs> just imagine having your like if they're your in-laws having your in-laws just stare at you while you shower like that just be so weird um i would never have that sorry just seems a bit too weird um yeah as you can see some men's styling stuff um and i think i end up getting rid of um yeah all the lady stuff on her side like the hot fresh towels i should put the hot fresh towels on the dude side too because i know that you use them like barbershops use them when you finish getting a shave or anything like that um oh there is a hairdryer yes yeah, so there's a hairdryer set there's the all the makeup and the everything basically um yeah and then i'm putting the stylus chair to the right just where the nail polish is currently floating um i just i wanted it to be so so neat because that's how i imagined this lady to be you know everything has to be perfectly neat and aligned and all that so that you know when she's getting ready if she's in a rush which she never is she's always on time but just in case she's ever in a rush it's always all there and it's for the stylist so the stylist always know where it is and i was gonna move it to the guy's side but he, he, i don't imagine the dad of this family being very style organized um he just go gets a shave cuts his hair and that's pretty much it like he's very chill he has some products there for maybe his hair or his face or something like that um and i have no idea what that is i'm imagining that's probably like mouthwash or something like that which i don't know why you would keep it there and not with your like toothbrush but whatever that's what he does I'm not here to judge uh i think i add carpet as well like a, a little just a little runway carpet which normally in a bathroom i wouldn't wouldn't like like a bath mat i could understand but i don't know i just thought having that little maybe it's a, a bath mat in and not a carpet but obviously in the game it's a carpet um oh no he does have fresh towels <laughs> they're just by the sink because obviously you shave over the sink and he can keep his beard hair in his sink. Just so many plant options that I could pick. And I should have picked some of the fancy looking ones that I'm pulling out. Like the shrub thing on the left there. But I end up picking these. Okay, I apparently end up picking these edges, which I don't, I don't know why. Um... I do like putting plants all over the house. I do imagine that they like to have a lot of plants. For some reason, a lot of them are in the bathroom. Um, I guess it's to make it smell better, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, that's kind of up to the end of part one. If you liked it, uh, make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below. Um, leave a comment what's your favorite part. And if you're excited to see part two, which should be coming next week.